I was always one of the shortest kids in my class. There were times I would come home from school in tears because of kids making fun of my size. I always wish I had more height, but I did have good speed, so that helped make up for some of my vertical challenges in athletics. According to my coaches, I also had plenty of heart. I was determined never to be outworked on the field or court. I used to have the following quote from Mark Twain in my locker. It's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. When you're short, you have to be scrappy. I think that's a good description of the church we're looking at today. It was little in size, but big in spirit. Sardis was a church that looked big on the outside, but had little heart. The church in Philadelphia, the one we're looking at today, looked small on the outside, but was big in heart. It was a scrappy church who stood its ground against the big bad bullies of the world. Look at Revelation 3, verses 7 through 13. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, The words of the Holy One, the true one, who has the key of David, who opens and no one will shut, and who shuts and no one opens. I know your works. Behold, I have set before you an open door, which no one is able to shut. I know that you have but little power, and yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. Behold, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who say that they are Jews and are not, but lie. Behold, I will make them come and bow down before your feet, and they will learn that I have loved you. Because you have kept my word about patient endurance, I will keep you from the hour of trial that is coming on the whole world to try those who dwell on the earth. I am coming soon. Hold fast what you have so that no one may seize your crown. The one who conquers, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God. Never shall he go out of it, and I will write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which comes down from my God out of heaven, and my own new name. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Maybe you feel puny amidst the ungodliness all around. Jesus said, hold fast. You may have little power, but in Christ's strength, you have resurrection power. He said to the church that the synagogue of Satan would come and bow down at their feet. It reminds me of the book of Esther, where she goes from being an orphan to becoming queen. Haman tried to kill her people, the Jews, but instead he ends up bowing at her feet, begging for his life. Be encouraged today. We are on the winning team. We are on the side that will be exalted. As Jesus said in verse 12, we are conquerors. Feeling small? Well, don't. We are spiritually mighty. No power on earth can stand against us. We are the beloved sons and daughters of the King. So stand tall today. May we live out our true spiritual identity today. May we stand tall and strong against the enemy. May we experience the power of the resurrection as we pursue the kingdom of God. Amen.